Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, I will teach you how to trade supply and demand zone entry with a confluence strategy. The first confluence we are using is the pin bar and the engulfing candlestick. A pin bar pattern consists of one price bar which represents a sharp reversal and rejection of price. We have a bullish and bearish pin bar. The engulfing candlestick consists of two price bars which represent a price reversal. We have bullish and bearish engulfing candlestick. We are going to watch out for those candlesticks in our strong demand and supply zone. Here on our chart. The first thing you have to do is to find the direction of the market. We have upward bullish candle formations. Then we have a sudden U-turn in the market direction with bearish candle formation. The green candle before the impulsive bearish rally is the supply zone. So we can box the green candlestick as our supply zone. Next, we wait for the price to retrace back to our supply zone. We are going to watch out for possible engulfing or pin bar formations at the supply zone. Here we can see a massive engulfing bearish bar. We can then enter a sell position on the next candlestick. Place stop loss above the engulfing candlestick. Place take profit at the swing low over here. That's about a 1 to 2.5 risk reward ratio. Here is the result. So this is how you enter into trades using candlestick patterns as a confirmation. Here is an example on our chart. First, we have a downward bearish move. Then we have a sudden U-turn in the market direction with rapid bullish candle formations. The red candle before the impulsive bullish rally is the demand zone. Next, we wait for the price to retrace back to our demand zone. We are going to watch out for possible engulfing or pin bar formations at the demand zone. Here we can see a pin bar formation at the demand zone. We can then enter a buy position when the next candlesticks break above the pin bar. Place stop loss below the pin bar. Place take profit at the swing high over here. That's about a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. Here is the result. So this is how you enter into trades using candlestick patterns as a confirmation. The second entry confluence we are using is the double top and double bottom pattern. It's very easy to spot. Double top and bottom patterns are trend reversal price action patterns that form two consecutive tops or bottoms. Here is our demand zone. We wait for the price to retrace and form double bottom before we place our buy entry. A double bottom is a chart pattern where price forms two consecutive lows. Very easy. Here is our supply zone. We wait for the price to retrace and form a double top before we place our sell entry. A double top pattern is a chart pattern where price forms two consecutive tops. Very easy. Here is an example on our chart. First, we have a downward bearish move. Then we have a sudden U-turn in the market direction with rapid bullish candle formations. The red candle before the impulsive bullish rally is the demand zone. Next, we wait for the price to retrace back to our demand zone. We are going to watch out for possible double bottom at the demand zone. Here we can see one bottom, then another bottom formation at the demand zone. That's a double bottom. We can then enter a buy position after the second bottom formation. Place stop loss below the double bottom. Place take profit at the swing high over here. That's about a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. Here is the result. So this is how you enter into trades using double bottom patterns as a confirmation. 
Next, we are going to discuss the risk-reward ratio.